Hi guys, welcome back to VPSSG and today we have another game for you and this is Mercado de Lisboa As you can see, and it's by Ego Griffin Games and artwork by Pedro Soto So yeah, designed by Julian Pombo and Vital Lasada. So you must be wondering why this game is so small and it's by Ego Griffin Games and it's because this is interestingly just a small mechanics in their Lisboa title so this is one of the mechanics that was in the main game Lisboa and yeah, they actually was able to make a game out of just a small mechanics in one of their bigger games so yeah, you can imagine what that sounds like for the bigger game so yeah, this is it and yeah, it's uh, for just 14 and up, plays from 1 to 4 players and about 30 to 45 minutes which is a lot um, shorter as compared to the main game I suppose and yeah, uh, I've only owned one of um, Ego Griffin or the one that's uh, designed by Vital Lasada and that's the galleries and I also have the unboxing and uh, can links down below so this is actually my friend's copy and he has been so nice to let me uh, unbox this so yeah, let's do this with a lot more care than I did with my own games so yeah, let's uh, get this opened Okay, so once again, this is Mercado TV Lisboa, and let's see what's inside. And okay, very nice uh, whiteboard. And again, it's uh, by Eco Griffin Games, so I do expecting the tiles and the cardboards to be a little bit thicker, just like their usual big box. And yeah, again, very nice impression of this because it's not your usual cardboard uh, color; it's your white color. Um, at least it's covered up so that's nice let's put this aside it's a bit glaring okay so we have uh some catalog here so yeah, again i didn't know that flip the dice games was from them from ego different games and yeah that's interesting to know and we have some other games here uh not a lot that i've saw but this looks interesting titan dice and Roll through the ages and also this for sale which I saw somewhere and these they are bigger box games so this is the one so MSRP $129 interesting and all the other games here okay so we have here oh interesting nice uh, thick uh, player shoes so these we have this setup again very um Similar fashion to Gallerist. Oh, but a lot shorter rule, rule set. Interesting. So this is the uh, game turn actions, the different actions that you can do, as well as the in-game conditions and final scoring. So here we have some changes for solo play and some of the scorings, I guess. So yeah, pretty cool. Six pages. That's first. Very nice interesting uh short rule book so yeah that's good to see and here we have the player shoes which are um cardboard so they are your kind of thin cardboard that you can kind of bend which i don't really want to do it uh but yeah so the thickness is kind of like um aeon's end the player mat or the nemesis mat so yeah, pretty interesting. And we have some icons here. Yeah, there's some step one, two, three, four, and four kind of thing. Cool. And we have four of them. So yeah, all this here in four of the player colors. 
Okay, next again, uh, we do have this easy notch here. So to pick this up, okay, oops. So the first one got punched out really cleanly. So yeah, that's one of the things that you put on the player board, I suppose. And again, this is uh, it's pretty, it's quite stiff. In fact, it's very stiff, uh, but it's not as um, thick as the galleries one. So I'm not sure if all their games are that thick, but I'm just assuming that it's all uh, the same thickness. But still, it's a very nice quality uh, cardboard. So yeah, very nice colors too. Double sided. And here we have, and these are the currencies here. And please use punch for under insert. So please put use punch for under insert. Yeah, it's probably to raise up. The insert and yeah very nice tiles here so these are like maybe the customers or something you have one two and some vegetables and fish and you have a pizza here and a burger here cool okay and next Similar things. Uh, in fact, here we have wine and beer. More customers. We have a new range here. So that's like your meat, your vegetable, or your garden kind of thing. And your tools and trees. Cool. So trees, you have more people, I guess. Not too sure if their faces mean anything. But okay. The next, I'm guessing this is a four here because there's four faces and we have a sushi now and some tea. So this is maybe like kind of like your shop or something. Or maybe this is like your um, sort of supermarket to buy things. You gain your currencies here. So here we have grapes and meat. Cool. Okay, next up we have Again, it looks like a very nice insert uh, organization here. Uh, yeah, so you can see here, we have one, two, three, four. So probably for all the different uh, customers here. I'm just going to refer them to them as customers. And four is slightly, um, you can see here, less shallow. So we have less fours. And we have all this here that circular is probably for all this, uh, I'm going to call it shops. Or things that you are selling and the uh, square ones are the ones uh, all this which is like your supermarket um, shops they are probably here and we have all this um, kind of arc or arches and different for different colors uh, different shape for different colors interesting they kind of just differ a slightly bit I mean, uh, slightly. And it's very nice, pastely colors as well. So let's show you guys what they look like. And yeah, really interesting. And I like how simple the um, insert is. And I'm not so sure if these two go here. Yeah, they do. That's nice. They are like super light, like really, really light wood. Um, okay, so you can see similar shape but different. They are all like kind of arches. So this is a bit pointy. This has like a overhanging roof. This has a more circles vibe, and this like a straight up semicircle. Yeah. Pretty cool. And you can see that the colors are all very pastely and not sure if you can hear it, but it's like super light, really, really light kind of uh, wood. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it back in, but I suppose they do fit like this, of course, in the same color. So yeah, and this uh, 
portion here you could probably fit your money your currency because you don't really have too much components which is interesting it seems like they really streamline the whole thing so you basically have kind of um, four components your customers here your shops your kind of supermarket stuff and your currency so your customers go here your pieces go here your shops the supermarket and then the currency basically most likely goes here and you can actually keep it in this bag which i'll show you guys later okay let me put all this back first yeah, very nice uh insert system that i like it's like simple and it gets the job done and there's no cards involved so yeah that's a good thing and we have the player board which i haven't shown you guys so this goes um, over here and this just goes on top later so i'll show you guys this first so again it's a very nice canvas bag but it's kind of have this um thing but i suppose it's not permanent because it was stuck over here and like yeah it's kind of dented yeah i guess no big deal yeah very nice cloth is it again it's the same one as the galleries very nice and i like how this green and go really stands up yeah that's very nice yeah that's a bag not too sure what is it for yet let's put this here so it doesn't get dented again kind of smooth all this out okay and here we have the main bar and it's a uh, quad full again very nice and you can see that uh let me show you guys it's kind of flat all around without really pressing onto it so you can see i'm not really uh putting any pressure so yeah you can see it's not warping too much which is good and let's uh we open up this so it's a very small board and it's actually very clear like you can see the thing is very sharp that's very nice yeah. and yeah it's a very small but you can see pretty much everything and yeah that's cool okay now let's see okay i'm supposed that i'm just guessing now but i'm guessing but i'm thinking like this part again very nice shadow here yeah it looks really very 3d that's nice and this part and these spots here they are post, most probably for the uh the different customers and um yeah you can kind of see that uh let's see so you can kind of see the customers have this grid here that's like two by eight i'm uh, sorry two by four so it's kind of matches here so i suppose the customers they are here and then they move towards in towards here and these square spots are most likely for this to put them here yeah again interesting there's very little component here then so i'm not too sure how they actually all played out but i suppose it's a very fast game because there's likely kind of like a towel plus a worker placement kind of thing with the archers and maybe just put them there to like kind of like carcassonne fashion yeah and the circular ones i'm not too sure where they should go but i suppose within the same place yeah maybe the ones here is for the circle or maybe one the ones here is not for the circle maybe and yeah some sort of iconography here for this or this equals to an alert maybe it's an end game condition and yeah oh it's a very nice wow so this is Vital Lazada's signature, I guess. These I'm not too sure, but it's definitely one of the um, designers. Maybe the Julian Pablo. Yeah, interesting. Okay, it's very nice, super small, and short unboxing. 
and nothing much at the bottom very very solid insert actually you have a very nice very nice ring to it so yeah that's good and yeah again i like it and um but i don't like i don't really like the idea of having the inserts sorry the punch board below the inserts because i think you could actually just pack it with the lid protruding and then have us just just get rid of the uh, punch board altogether i think that will be easier and it will have a slimmer profile in the end so that's still pretty good um yeah but anyway this is um again mercado de lisboa so if you guys like this video do give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing uh, down below uh, for more of such content and yeah let me know how you guys think of this game and uh, if you guys think this is a good um, sort of more simple version of a more complicated game and if that works for you guys so yeah once again this is Mercado de Lisboa thanks for watching and bye bye